Hi, welcome to today's yoga story. We're going to start off today with our warm up just to get our bodies moving. So let's find those fingers and give them a wiggle. See if you can get every single finger to move. Give them a good wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's it, open and close. And then maybe give your wrists a little wiggle as well. And then we're going to bring our feet out the front. Can you give your toes a wiggle? Get them moving. Can you move every single toe? And then give your feet a little, uh, your ankles a little wiggle as well. And then can you wiggle the end of your nose? Do you wiggle it without your finger? your arms all the way up to the ceiling and then our favorite can you wiggle your legs give them a really good wiggle <gasps> now who can <gasps> be the tallest tall who can reach right up to the ceiling and who can make themselves small like a ball all the way down to the floor and wide like a house or maybe you're making yourself Thin like a pencil. And then remember, we're going to give ourselves an all over body wiggle. Are you ready? Brilliant wiggling, everyone. Fantastic. So we're going to come down into our easy pose. Can you remember how to do that? We stretch our legs out the front. You take your right leg and just put your foot next to your thigh. This is your thigh here. And then bring your left leg in front so that your foot is next to your calf. Then we're going to sit up nice and tall, roll our shoulders back. Now let's see what story we've got in the bag today. Now this story is all about looking after our bodies. It's really important that we look after our bodies. We make sure that we feed them and we move them and we clean them and we keep them really healthy. So this story is about keeping our bodies nice and healthy. Now it starts off with a little girl called Molly and she's asleep in her bed. So should we come round? Bring your legs to the side, come up onto your knees, bring your bottom down onto your heels. And then we're just going to curl up and imagine we're snuggled up in bed, fast asleep. Now while Molly was in bed, someone came into her room. Can you guess who it was? a very special little fairy. You see the little fairy? Oh, and the little fairy came zooming down into her room. Why do fairies come into our rooms? Well, it was because Molly's very first baby tooth had fallen out that day and she put it underneath her pillow waiting for the fairy to come and get it. So put your hands down on the floor, roll, lean yourself forward, rock your toes underneath, tuck your toes underneath. Now we're going to lift both knees up, walk our feet towards our hands and roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Now the fairy came flying into her room. So take your right foot and I want you to stretch your toes out as wide as you can make them and then just push them down onto the floor and then we're going to take the left foot and we're just going to just slide it along the floor and bring it out behind us bring your wings out like the fairy and then fly into Molly's room. And she landed on Molly's pillow and she looked around and she found Molly's tooth. And she had a good look at the tooth. She had to be very careful because she mustn't take back T 
teeth that weren't looked after and weren't clean or had holes in them. So she looked at this tooth and she decided that it was a good tooth. So she reached into her backpack and inside her backpack she found a golden coin. And she took the golden coin and she slid it under Molly's pillow. She picked up the tooth, popped it into her backpack and then she flew all the way back to the fairy woods. So come round, put your hands down on the floor, lift your bottom up, walk your hands all the way up your body. Then we're going to take the other foot. So we're going to pop the left foot down this time, stretch out those toes, lift the right foot up, and we're going to scooch it out behind us, bring our wings out. Whoosh, all the way back to Fairyland, where she landed with a great big poof. She wasn't very fairy-like, she was quite heavy on her feet. She landed next to one of the most beautiful trees. So we're going to take our left foot and stretch those toes out again, push the toes and the heel down into the floor, and then we're going to turn the right foot round so that it's pointing away from us towards the side. So we've turned it from forwards sideways out. And then we're going to scooch it back so that our heel rests on our ankle. And then tuck your tailbone in. So we're going to imagine we've got a tail. We're going to point our tail all the way down to the ground. Take a deep breath in and bring your branches up nice and wide. Now, if you're feeling really well balanced there, you might want to lift your foot ever so slightly up onto your calf. And if you're still feeling really well balanced, you might lift your foot all the way up onto your thigh. And then bring your branches out. And whichever way you want to do it is absolutely perfect for you. So she landed next to one of the big trees. Bring your hands down into prayer, bring your foot down. Then she looked around and she wasn't the best fairy at navigating. And she realised she was in the wrong place. So she had to run through the trees because once you've landed in fairyland you can't start flying again until you're going off on your next mission to get another tooth so she ran between the trees and she found the right tree so take the right foot this time again spread those toes out make them nice and wide turn the left foot out to the side so we're turning it from the front to the side bring the heel against the ankle turn that tailbone under take a big breath in bring the arms up and then lift the foot if you want to you can keep it here if that's if that's easier if that helps you balance keep it here but if you're feeling really balanced today you can bring it up to the calf here don't ever put it on the knee because you can hurt your knees so just either put it on the calf or if you're feeling really good at balancing feeling very balanced in yourself you can bring it all the way up to the thigh then just take a big breath here and let it go bring the hands in and bring the foot down to the floor so she found the right tree when she got there, she met two little pixies. Oh, can you see them? There was a little one that looked a bit like a mushroom. And there was a little one who had a really good beard. And she handed the tooth over to the pixies. And they had to check that it was a good tooth as well. So they had a really good look at it. 
to see whether it was good enough to go on the Queen's, as part of the Queen's castle. And they decided it was. So little fairy went off on her next mission to find another tooth. And the pixies took this big tooth and they couldn't fly. So they had to go on a magical boat, bring yourself all the way down onto the bottom. And they had to go across the river to the fairy queen's castle. Now bring your legs down in front of you. Turn your toes up so they're looking at you. And then we're going to bend the right knee and bring the right foot next to the left knee. And then we're going to lift it up and put it on the other side so that it's on the opposite side. So it's next to the knee. And then we're going to bring up our arm, bend the arm and put our elbow next. This is our elbow here where our arm bends next to our knee. And this is our sail on our ship, on our boat. So I'm going to take a big breath in here, make sure our backs are nice and straight like the mast of the ship and then take the left hand behind us and just twist around and see if you can see over your shoulder and then take a big breath in and then blow out as if you're blowing that boat across the, across the river Big breath in and blowing out. And they sailed up the river and then they had to tack. So take that foot across, over, back down, put it down and lift the other knee up. And then again, lift the foot up and put it on the other side of the knee. And then bend the elbow. So they tacked and they turned around, bring that elbow, put it against the knee, open up your sail and then take the right hand behind you and then just twist, look over your shoulder, take a deep, big deep breath in and then blow that sailboat down the river. One more breath. And then bring yourself back round to centre. Bring those feet down. So when the pixies got off the boat, they took the special tooth and they took it all the way up to the top of the Queen's castle, where, bring your legs round to the side, Come up onto all fours, bring your hands out in front of you, nice big hands, make sure they're nice and big so you've got good foundations. And then knees, have got a little gap between them, turn your toes under and they put the tooth on the queen's roof. Lift your knees up together, push your bottom back. Drop your head between your elbows and allow your heels to come down towards the floor. It's okay if you've got your knees bent a bit, that's all right. And then as you stay in your downward dog, you can just open your knees up and allow the backs of the knees to open. And they put the tooth in the roof where it shined and it shimmered and it became part of the Queen's castle. And that's what happens to your teeth when they get picked up by the Tooth Fairy, if they're good and clean and you've looked after them. So make sure you brush them both in the morning and at night before you go to bed, because you don't want the Tooth Fairy to reject your tooth. And they come along to take it and make it into part of the Queen's beautiful castle. 
Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.